if you haven't got to the point where this is a candidate for one of the worst wives of the year, uh, yeah, but yeah. trust me, there there is more. I told you there's three, but there is more. So let's just go to here and see what we already got out there. Uh, lies doesn't make a good foundation for marriage, and trust is so difficult to regain. Mama Hart, if you ain't never preach, that is absolutely true. Um, he will never trust her nor forget what she did. She probably thought he would never find out. She should have told him her stance on having children from the start. From the start. How hard was that a bit? I mean, you rightfully could have been anxious about what his answer would have been, but you didn't give him a hint again. You took the choice out of his hands. You made the decision about this, something that was very important to him and made the decision for both of y'all. I mm -hmm. and, we go, and we could go on and on and on, but we got two more videos and I, I want to hold on to my negative energy about the wife because we gotta hear more yeah on this story oh this no. story because the wife finally does get in contact with op and she explains why she didn't want to have any more children get your popcorn ready folks here we go. Thank you all for your kind comments and private messages. I did receive a few unkind ones accusing me of trying to control her body or making her feel unsafe, which is why she secretly went through with it. Natalie came over to my parents' house last night after dinner. She dropped off Kaya at her friend's because she said she needed to talk to me. I'm glad I gave her the chance because I now have no doubt she is a pathological liar. She said after her first pregnancy, she had to work so hard to be in shape and she swore she would never do that again. I said, then you lied to me from day one? She said she thought she would change her mind, but she didn't. So, so yes, she still lied. Then she saw me come to terms with not having a baby, so she decided not to tell me. I said, so you lied more? You got rid of my baby because you wanted to stay fit? You didn't even discuss anything with me. How could you do that to me? I could be holding my baby right now and you stole that from me. She said she is sorry, but the good news is she still can. Hey, what? I said, you are still lying. You still don't want a baby and you're only saying it so I stay. I don't even know what to believe anymore. I can't trust you ever. She started crying, saying Kaya is so sad you left us because I can't give you a baby. That's what she told her kid that OP left because she can't give him a baby. I lost it. You lied to her, too. Is this why she thinks I left? I told her it's over and to get out of my parents house. She cried and cried. I'll meet with a lawyer this week to start the separation process. I'll send a text to Kaya and explain that I didn't abandon her and I will do anything to be in her life. I never legally adopted her, sadly. I can't believe that I blindly trusted her all these years. As for Kaya's dad, I have no idea where he is. She refuses to talk about it. Like I said, again, first time I put somebody this horrific in this category and there's no abuse involved in it. You I beg to differ. This is emotional abuse. This is uh, just because there's no hitting involved, because there is, she still took away his autonomy. Mm -hmm. uh, that Lady, to me was abusive. You wanted to not have a baby. Not because you didn't want to carry it to term, not because health reasons. Well, when we say health reasons, the health reasons we normally think of when we say health reasons, though your health reason is because you want to constantly keep looking good. That's your reasoning. Now, here's my second anger. 
my second anger. Then you turn around and go, but I still can. Did we not mention from the very beginning in the first video, the trust is gone. Lady, it's gone. It is gone. Nobody. Do you honestly think now that he finds that, because this is your logic, saying what you said, but now that you know, I can still have one. Well, you think I'm going to trust you? Don't do it. Do but not three. do it. But three, and this is my miniature rant, because you, everybody who's watched this show since day one know how I feel about kids. Don't ever use a child as a pawn. Ever. And you flat out lied to your own child for the reason why OP left, you piece of crap. Because you still couldn't even take responsibility in your mm -hmm. heinous actions. You still can't do it. You know what you did. You know why I always say people who lie about stuff lie because they know they're in the wrong. That's the only reason why they lie. So you used your, your child as a pawn, not once, but twice, saying the same sentence. To make her be mad at OP for leaving and then lie about the reason why. Because you can't. No, because you don't want to. You're right. This is emotional abuse. You're right, Anna. You're right. You you have no quorums whatsoever using anybody. You don't have a quorum using your husband. You have no quorums using your daughter. You have no quorums using absolutely anybody to get your result because you want to be Instagram model looking. Good. That's about it. Mm -hmm. But your only reason that you gave. That's really the reason you gave. I mean, lady, you 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 so you so terrible. You almost did me well in the back. Well, Marlon. You really you really are. Uh -oh. You went My you went you went in and out for that whole sentence. You are uh, uh, you are uh, that's what I heard. Okay, sorry everybody. You you are Disney villain back of a human being. Mm. That's what I said. Mm. You you you're, you're that bad. You're you're almost so cartoonishly bad. What is to stop the daughter from following? Sorry, we're on a Disney kick, I guess, following the breadcrumbs and figuring out she's going to hear from her dad, the person who raised her. We've talked about that before, so. And he's going to fight to be in her life, it sounds like. What is to stop her from going, wait? She lied to me about this, about why my dad left. This has everything to do with babies. She's gonna put some stuff together. Kids are really freaking clever like that. Oh. Uh. This is a call your lawyer situation. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, thank you, Mama Hart. Thank you. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm done. <laughs>